Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Wednesday the 15th of September with a 7.45pm kickoff as the Borough take on Nottingham Forest in the Scarbet Championship at the City Ground. Well Borough fans, it was a day to forget down in Warwickshire at the uh, Coventry Building Society re Arena where Borough suffered their second defeat of the season at Coventry City. Um, it was a game where, you know... It was pretty much Coventry pretty much dominated the whole game and I mean fair play to them I think they did deserve to win at the end but this and they, I think there's still signs that the side obviously just needs Ben Min obviously the new recruits on board a very new squad it was always going to be very difficult you know to start off you know on the right foot you know even though after five games um but but um in that game Ornel Hernandez I have to say definitely pulled the strings as far as we're concerned um you know going forward. Um, and he had a decent debut, but it was pretty much the back line was the cause of uh, our own problems. I mean, in the second half, we just completely fell apart. And um, Victor Gorkovic capitalised on some, some sloppy defending from Anthony Dyke Steele to make it 1 0 to the Sky Blues in the 71st minute. And then, no less than about 20 minutes later, uh, they grabbed the winner through Martin Waghorn's um, timely finish. But uh, I mean, defence was poor. I mean, the loss of Paddy McNair in the warm up before the game definitely made an impact in terms of our back line. And I mean, I mean, I know Coventry have been unbeaten at home this season, but I mean, we've got to be beating teams like that, surely. Um, but we're coming up against a side that are currently bottom of the league coming up, and uh, we're going to this game on the back of three injuries to a couple of key players in the squad in the uh, in the team. Um, obviously, I said about Paddy McNair who went off during the warm up at the Coventry game. He's likely going to miss this game coming up tomorrow um, and then Mark Bowler who was not in the squad as well he, the Neil Warren confirmed his press comments he might not be part of the team on Wednesday either and also Martin Piero who we found out before the game had a knock on his ankle the, in the, at training before uh, the Coventry game so the likelihood he'll be a doubt as well and obviously we've got the likes of Sammy Amiobi and Marcus Brown is still on the long term injury list so I'm not sure where they are going to be back to be fair but apart from that you know it's the um, squad that we've got I mean like I said still needs Ben in obviously um, Spiral and, like, Spiral and Saliki came on for the last few minutes it's just a matter of the new side joining them together and obviously um, just making an improvement over our last uh, couple of results recently because we really need to get ourselves up the league quite badly going to our opponents now Nottingham Forest I, I would have expected to be um, in and amongst the um, top half group going into this game but they had a pretty dreadful start to the season so far I mean they're currently rock bottom in the league in 24th place their current record at the moment is played six won zero drawn one and lost five last game out for them they lost uh, two one uh, on on Sunday at home against uh, Cardiff so there's heavy pressure now on their current manager Chris Hewton and uh, uh, I mean from a neutral perspective, um, I don't expect a team like Nottingham Forest to be um, going down to League One at any place, to be honest. I know they've been there once before, but they were too good of a team, team to go down from the Championship, let's just put it that way. Uh, key players to watch out for, for Forest, I think um, Lewis Scraven is definitely going to be one of them. I mean, every team he plays in, he seems to get a goal anywhere. Um, Ryan Yates as well, who's um, one of their holding midfield players, he's pretty decent at this level as well. Um, as well as Joe Worrell and Scott McKenna, who are the rock heart of their defence. Bryce Samba, I think, is, as well as, in my opinion, one of the most underrated goalkeepers in this division. And um, Alex Maitin is another one coming up through their academy as well. Um, and there's a lot, you know. Jao Cavallo as well is still in there. I mean, he's mainly been used as an unused sub as of late. But there's still good players in that Forest team. And um, as a neutral perspective, uh, from a Borough perspective, I really hope they do stay up and um, continue their fight back regardless. But obviously, not on this coming Wednesday coming up. Now, um, going into the, um, the last time we played against them was obviously at the City Ground, and it was a very torrid affair, to say the least. Um, and by the way, the City Ground is uh, one of the grounds that uh, we do not, uh, not have a habit of uh, picking up uh, any points there whatsoever the last couple of games. But last game out, last season, we did just that. We picked up all three points in that 2-1 victory at the City Ground. I mean, obviously... Um, Goals from British Sombolonga and George Savile, who have now since departed, of course, gave us the win. Uh, Forest pulled on back through Lorick and Bissau, and uh, I remember they got they went down to ten men very late on with Yui Rivera getting sent off towards the end, and 
I mean, obviously, you know, the city ground is a tough place to go to. And I mean, you know, I mean, usually our last few visits, we hardly picked up any points there at all. I mean, except for last season, of course. And I think we did a double over Forest last season as well. So hopefully, you know, if we are going to turn our fortunes around and turn, like, you know, the three draws and and the two losses that we had into wins and pick up our second win of the season, I mean, I mean, the city ground will probably be the. Um, I mean, more than a decent place to start a good run going, but obviously, otherwise, you know, there's going to be a lot of pressure coming Warnock's way. But I'm a firm believer. I am still believe he can um, bring us back up, and I think, you know, time will tell come the season whether he does that or not. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and predictions for this game going into the comments below. Borough fans, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. Our social media links are in the description below. And until then, Borough fans, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV, and I will see you on the next preview video, which will be for the game on Saturday, the 18th of September, where Borough find themselves back at home at the Riverside for the first time since the break, and Blackpool are the visitors. Until then, Borough fans, take care, stay safe, and up the Borough.